What is good, guys? We have a CD Man versus Sabella for Ulti Round A Losers Bracket. The winner of this place versus Karen Smith in Ulti Losers Finals. Let's talk about the teams real quick. I think there's a Specs Hooper on CD Man's side. Sovis Megiena helps him to deal with opposing gear, helps him with Greninja. Defensive Lando with Helmet and Rocks. Um, Scarf Lani, in my opinion, and then maybe Zemo of Coco. And Mega Law Pony with Fake Out Return High Jump Kick. Last move could be either Ice Punch, Power Up Punch, or Quick Attack. Lopani seems like a fine lead for Siduma. Has a really nice matchup versus Smooth on Sabella's side. If he doesn't like a matchup, he can just Fake Out. And on Sabella's side, I think it's a Scarf, Default Galati with Healing Wish, Draco, Psy Shock, Defensive Lando. Um, Z move Manaphy with like Taglo, Surf, and then either Ice Beam or Psychic, and then Rain Dance. And Ferrothorn is going to be like Mixed Defensive, more so Spadef with Lead Sheet. Potentially spikes, but it doesn't have to be spikes. Uh, obviously with power whip and the last move could be either knock off protect or uh, gyro ball. Like it doesn't have to be spikes because he has he wants to defog a lot for his Zard, but there's still matchups even when you have a Zard you still like spikes up and you don't care about Hellas on your side. So I could still see it being spikes, but it doesn't have to be. Zard is most likely Zard X. He does not have a Tita so to support Zard Y and Zard X seems better at the moment because Zard Y just gets completely walled by stuff like Toxapex. And Zarex can deal with that decently, like, better. And the land is going to be defensive, uh, which is going to be important to check Lopani. And the Coco is most likely Specs on Sabella's side. So we do see uh, Lopani was a Zard lead. If he's defensive land, though, um, which he should be, he's probably gonna, just going to go to that. Potentially get some helmet on a Lopani, as Sijuma is most likely just going to fake out. He doesn't want to risk anything. It's turn one. He doesn't want to risk the Zard staying in, so he's most likely just going to fake out. As that's the land risk. Now we see if he has helmet or his lefties. He's not helmet, he takes no damage, he's lefty, he's defensive. So Sabella is not gonna set up rocks because like I said, when CD Moore gets up rocks, Sabella wants to defog anyways. So I think Sabella is gonna U-turn or off quick. The worst the best thing that CD Moore has to hit the lander would be Ice Punch, but only which only does around 49 to the defensive lander, it doesn't do that much. So off quick or U-turn is the play for Sabella. Hmm. I think U-turn is fine, honestly, because he just gets momentum. The Lopani is intimidated, so he can like go to whatever he wants to after. He can either go to Manaphy or Zarex after the U-turn. If Sijuma doesn't have Ice Punch, he exactly he did, mostly he doesn't have Ice Punch. He just goes for a return. Uh, maybe he predicted him to pivot into Manaphy on Ice Punch, but I think he doesn't have Ice Punch. So now he can go Zarex because if he goes Ma Manaphy, just gets walled by it too much. Like it gets checked by Lari and by Gear. So I think Zarex is the play to make here. I guess Coco is a potential play. Because if he ZY charge Coco, that can um, put in some like it can put in a lot of pressure because it can kill the Megina, like do a lot of damage to AV Megina. But I'm thinking that he's most likely AV, not AV Z move Manaphy. So he does go into Charizard, right? If I'm Sabala here, I would double into Coco because it covers the Ladi and it covers the Lando. Sibduma is either going to Lando if he thinks it's Zarex, or if he's going to Ladi if he's not sure if it's Zarex or Y. Because Ladi covers Flare Blitz from Zarex, Dragon Dance from Zarex, and it covers Fire Blast from Zard Y. So he might go Ladi. Um, as kind of a mid-ground play. So I could also Dragon Claw break in the Lari to come out. But doubling into Coco seems like the best play overall. Covers if he specs HPIs, that is. We obviously don't know that yet. But if he specs HPIs, covers the Landrus and Oko's that and threatens it out, and he could then volt switch to get more momentum and it covers the Lari. So he does go Lari. Let's see if he Dragon Claw because he did not double into Coco. He HPIs. Okay, okay, that's cool. So he did predict most likely the Landrus to come out and he had a Lure Zardex, which is interesting. And He's obviously going to switch into either Ferrothorn or Coco here. So Sidiuma, um wants to switch out, take advantage of... I think he wants to break, wanted to break the Ferrothorn there and wanted to get up rocks with his Landris or maybe knock off the Ferrothorn's lefties, but most likely he just wanted to get up rocks. Now Sidiuma is forced to switch into his Megiena here. Like I said, Megiena has to be AV looking at Sidiuma's side. So if Sabala is specs, he should just Volt switch here, knowing that Sidiuma is not going to stay in. Sidiuma wants to keep this Landris healthy to get up rocks later in the game to threaten the Zard and just yeah have a hazard for Sabala to defog stuff like that. So he's definitely not uh, staying in with the Lando here. So C Sabala can either Volt switch on the AV Mag to get some chip damage. If he's uh, Z move Coco for some reason instead of Specs. Uh, if he's not Z move on Mana, if he's Z move on Coco, he could also go for Z Wild Charge, um, which does like. A lot to Megina. If it doesn't Oko, it does like 95 or 90. It like destroys it. So that would be a really cool play for Sabella. Or if he just wants to U turn, if he's physical Coco and doesn't want to Z Wild Charge, he could U turn as well. But I would most likely, I th I'm thinking he's back, so I would Volt Switch if I'm Sabella. Like I said, there's no way Sidiuma is staying in. Sidiuma is thinking about it. I guess maybe he's Yachi Berry. Yeah, if he's Yachi Berry, I guess that's the only way he's staying in. But this, I don't think he's land. I don't see this Landris being Scarf. It, it has to be defensive. Like his team is like really offensive. 
offensive overall, it has to be defensive Lando. Like the mid gears A V and the Lando's defense to me, looking at the team, like that's like his pivots. Defensive pivots with Voltage and U-turn. To get in spec super or band hooper. Most likely spec. So he does just make the gear play. He doesn't gleamed. Maybe that that maybe means he either was fearing um Yachi Berry and he didn't want to HP eyes, or he doesn't have HP eyes. Maybe he specs HP Fire Coco for stuff like Ferrothorn, that's another option. Um because I don't know why else you would dazzling gleam there. Like I think he doesn't have HP eyes and he bricked that line to stay in and go for rocks. Cause I don't like Cedima was never Cedima was never going Lardy there, so like I don't know what else he would predict. So now he can just voltage or HP fire. Uh, break the Ferrothorn. Maybe he doesn't have HP fire, but or oh, Voltage also covered Zarex, I guess, so it makes sense. He goes into the land risk, so he really wants to get up his rocks. Um I guess he's kind of weak to Katana, so this could also be HP fire Lando, but HP fire on Megina makes more sense. I don't know if he has it on Lando as well. So this is minus one. It's Landos is obviously forced out because it's leech sheeted. Uh, so Sabala can just um, leech sheet again here or like power up or knock off, breaking a switch. So he goes in a Hooper, so he's gonna threaten the Ferrothorn with either Fire Punch or Focus Blast. So Sabala is most likely gonna go in a Tapu Koko here. Um, how do you take advantage of Tapu Koko if you see Juma? I guess you can double to Lopani or something like or Megina. Yeah, he doubles in the Lopani, breathing Coco. Okay. So Fake out into return kills, but return doesn't kill, I think. But Sabala is definitely not staying in. He wants health on his Coco. I think he's just gonna go into Landris here. Um, if Sidima has Ice Punch, this is the, the the correct time to click it. But earlier when he just went for return on Lando, I think he does not have Ice Punch on Lob. Because of that, yeah. I'm pretty sure that he wants to keep this Coco somewhat healthy to potentially spe take a spec Dark Pulse from Hooper later in the game. Um, and he's just gonna go to Landris here. Which I think Landris can easily take Fake Out into return from this lob. Um, I don't know if it would be able to take two, or it would even be able to take two returns. So unless he has Ice Punch, there's no way he can 2-8 KO. He does get with a crit with Fake Out. Um, so he predicted the Coco to stay in, I think. And Sabella's mostly gonna off quick here to get some chip on the Lopani. Because if he gets the Lopani low, uh, Lopani is just gonna return here, or he's gonna switch out Sidima. Okay, stay then. He's gonna have to take it off quick. Now he's super low. This is what I was trying to talk about. Now he cannot come into anything anymore. Like, even Ferrothorn, he doesn't want to come into that with Lopani because it would die to like Power Up or Jarable, or like even Leech Sheet would be annoying. That. So he goes Landris, and Sabala did go Ferrothorn. Um, predicted a return because the Lopani would have uh, taken Iron Barbs, and what is that? Minus one. So he wants to keep the Landris, Landris at Fodder, which is understandable. And he w does go for Hidden Power Fire. Wow. That's crazy. And since he had the hidden power fire damage and he's also Rocky Helmet, he's able to weaken this Ferrothorn a bit. And I think the Sabala, if he has Protect, he can either go for Protect here or he can switch into his um, Ladi. I think Ladi is a fine play here because it covers it covers HP Fire, covers Earthquake, and I guess Sijima could double into Hooper, breaking the Ladi to come out. But the Ferrothorn has Protect, so that didn't work out as well, but the Ferrothorn is like still threatened here. Uh, Ferrothorn should protect again here to get more health. Like, Sabala's only plays Ferrothorn again to get more lefties or go hard into Coco, right? Uh, Sidima is mostly just gonna fire off a Dark Pulse here. As that hurts, so Coco dies to rocks now, unless Sabala defogs. So Sidima is mostly just gonna go into AV Megina here, as it can eat up any hit from Coco. Um, so I'm Volt Switching here from Sabala as. He dares and gleams. Um, he didn't want him. He didn't want him to go land. I guess on an electric move, and he also didn't want him to stay in. But I don't know. I would have fold switched there. It, it, oh well. It's obviously easier when you're just watching. Like when you're not playing, it's always easier. And now, I think Sabala should just sack his Landris because Coco still has a lot, a bit more value than Landris. Uh, if he gets a defog off, Coco can uh, outspeed stuff like, um, like it can threaten stuff like Hooper and Landris. And potentially win a speed tie versus opposing Coco and defensive Lando is just outsped by most of Sidumas team and not gonna do much. So I would sack the Lando here. Because if you go hard Ferrothorn, you risk getting HP fired, which is definitely not the play to make. Um we do see HP fire, exactly. I was gonna say either Ice Beam or HP Fire are gonna come out depending on whatever he has. So now Sabala goes into Zard and he's just gonna click flare bits here. So Siduma um I guess he's gonna sack his Landris here, which would get, I think, twit killed by Flabbits, because it already took some prior damage, but that would take a lot of uh, recall in the process. I don't think it's worth I don't think it's worth it to sack the Megina. Like I know that the Zard could set up if you switch out, but you still if your Ladi is scarf, you're still fine if the Zard DDs. 
And Megina is really valuable versus the Ladi. It has HP fire for the Ferrothorn. It can take hits from Coco. It can potentially even take a plus three hit from the Manaphy. Uh, AV Megina is amazing. Like I would not take the gear. Um, yeah, I think maybe Lando is the sec. I don't see what else would be the play. But gear just seems gear just seems too valuable to me to sack it. Like Sabella is definitely gonna flab it here, obviously, right? So he does just sack the gear, which is weird to me. So I'm trying to think why he would make that play. I'm thinking the only reason why you would make that play is maybe he is not Scarf Ladi and he doesn't have speed control. That makes the that's the only reason that makes why he would make that play. So Lapani can just go for high jump kick here. Sabala is gonna sack his Coco to rocks. Um, he doesn't want to switch into anything else. He still wants to keep his Zard around. So sacking Coco to rocks makes the most sense. And yeah, like I'm trying to think. I think Sijuma's Ladi might be Zemo for specs because if his Ladi was Scarf. He didn't have to fear the Zard DDing. But even, like, if the Zard DD, I think it might have been able to kill the Lando with Flubbs at 60 or whatever health the Lando's at. And then if he doesn't have a Scarf, then the Zard would have been a threat. But the Zard would have still taken Recall from Flubbs' helmet. And then there would have been a Fake Out range, I think, if it wouldn't have died from Recall. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit like, confused by that play. Maybe he didn't value Megina as much as I thought. I think Megina had a lot of value in this match. So let's go Manaphy here and... I think just surfing or just hard hide roboticsing is Sabella's only play. There's not really a point in setting up a Z rain dance. Um, because Ladi, even if the, even if he gets a speed boost, Ladi still checks man if he, he does miss the high jump kick, which is a bit unfortunate. If he went for Z rain this could be a bit annoying for CDM, but Ladi still checks it. But he just went for hard robotics, okay. A high jump kick would have done around 60%, but the thing is how does he he can only Oko this with Coco, which brings him Pharaoh. Hmm. So he's either gonna go Coco or Ladi. If he goes Ladi, then it's confirmed that it's Z-Move or Specs Ladi. Because Scarf Ladi can only do like 62 to 70, I think, with Draco do Manaphy. So we will see from this play. If he just goes Coco, then we don't know if the Ladi Scarf yet. But if he goes Ladi, he's definitely either Specs or Z-Move. Otherwise, it just doesn't make much sense. I mean, I guess Ladi would even at 62 would still live a hit from Manaphy. Even if Manaphy has Ice Beam, which I think they carry Psychic for Pex at the moment. I think that still wouldn't kill. Actually, that might kill. Yeah, I think that was either Zemo or Specs. And he's just gonna fire off a Draco here. So what is Sabala gonna do? He, either, he has to sack something because he doesn't want to risk going hard Ferrothorn on a potential like Specs or Zemo Vladi because I think if Ferrothorn already took prior damage, right? So that would be too risky. So I think he's just gonna sack the Manaphy because he still wants a Scarf Ladi that... Uh, Sabala's Ladi should be Scarf. And if we confirm that this Ladi is not Scarf, Sabala's Ladi becomes a huge win con. Um... But late game with Draco after the Hooper takes some more damage and the Koku dies. So I think Fiduma is either going to see Draco or Draco here to um, to kill off the Manaphy. I think Sabella is just going to sack the, the Manaphy. Yeah. It is definitely Specs. Yeah, like, there has to be Specs. Like, even Draco played or something like that would not kill. And that's also not a set. But I'm just trying to speculate what the set would be. And it should be Specs at this point. Confirmed, yeah. Um, so Ferrothon can come out here for Sabella and go for Leech Seed. And Siduma is gonna have to like figure out what he's gonna switch into. He cannot afford to stay now, obviously, with the Ladi when the Pharaoh comes out, because he's at minus two and Draco is not gonna do anything, even if it specs. Um yeah, obviously. The only way he would do any damage is if he crits the Pharaoh Thorn. So I don't think it's worth it for Sabala to go into Ladi here and then defog and then risk Siduma staying in and Draco and kill the Ladi, so in case he wants to defog, yeah. So I think uh, Pharaoh Thorn is just gonna come out and go for Leech Seed. Just, that's just the safest play. Yeah. Because if he goes Ladi, he has to predict what would he lock himself into, and it's just not worth it. But yeah, this game is not over yet. It's really interesting. So Lichi is going to come out here as... See, is either going to have to go Hooper or Lando. Um, man, I'm really hungry. I hope this game is not going to take too long. Because um, I might not be able to think clear when I'm hungry. Um... Oh yeah, it's best of three, so it's still gonna, obviously going to be the next game after this. Oh boy, it's going to be a pain. So he does lead sheet and the Landris comes out, and... I don't know if you know if the Pharaoh has protect yet, but he, okay, just revealed it now. This means Pharaohson beats Landris, because protect, lead sheet, recovery, and then... Like, okay, he has to turn lefties, lead sheet, and then he protects and he gets another turn of lefties and lead sheet, is what I'm trying to say. So Landris does not beat Pharaohson at all. Um... We have a few options here. Sabala can double each sheet, but we can see you might switch. 
So but I can go hard Ladi predicting HP fire because he wants to defog. Or he could also side shock if he goes hard Ladi, but I think he wants to defog first. Not sure about that yet. But yeah, he got his Protothorn back to 93%, so I don't think he wants to let it... I mean, even if he takes HP fire, like I said, he would get most of the health back anyway. But going hard Ladi is definitely an option. The thing is, Sidua might go into Hooper here. He might go Hooper here. Um, but the thing is, he do yeah, since the Feral Sun is Intimidate, I think Hooper would be a good play here. It would cover the uh, Sabala going into Ladi and would cover... Um, like, it would threaten the Feral Sun potentially. But the problem is the Feral Sun has Protect, which means the Feral Sun can scout what the Hooper locks itself into. And then uh, Sabala can play Mind Games, potentially um, catch Sidiuma on a double, st staying in with Feral Sun, or just switch out uh, if Sidiuma then... Just goes for the locked in move again and it doesn't work for CDMA. But that's just searing around what would have happened if he would have got went to Hooper. But that scenario didn't even come out. So he just went Ladi on HP Fire. I think Hooper would have been a really good play there, but he didn't make the play because the Pharaoh was almost intimidated. Um, but I can understand why he wants health on Hooper because that means he can still eat Ladi's Draco later in the game. Since the Bala's just gonna defog, CDMA's probably gonna go Hooper now, yeah, because it can eat Draco and if he defogs. Hooper gets a free Dark Pulse. I don't see any reason why you would not click Dark Pulse here. Um, the Feral Thorn is going to be pressured. Like, Zard would die to Dark Pulse, Ladi would die to Dark Pulse, Ladi is locked in the Defog. Sabala is either going to sack the Ladi or the Zard, but I think he's going to sack the Ladi because he doesn't want to risk going under Feral Thorn because Feral Thorn would take a lot from two Dark Pulses and he, even if he has Protect, like, if he just has to get flinched or crit, like, it's not optimal, like, Having Feral Thorn in on Hooper while Hooper is locked in the Dark Pulse is better for Sabella, but switching it in is like not the play. So I think he's just gonna sack the Ladi here, and Sidima should just click Dark Pulse and kill the Ladi, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I hope there's like a quick break, like two minute break between game one and game two. I really gotta get some food. Like just a little snack or something. So he does go in the Ladi, which I don't understand. Maybe he wants to like trick the fer the incoming Ferrothorn. Or he has HP Fire on Specs Ladi. Yeah, maybe he has HP Fire on Specs Ladi. I guess that would kind of make sense. But I don't think Sabella was ever risking his Ferrothorn. So now we have... Like, see? When he earlier just clicked Dark Pulse, it would have been way better position. Because now he's forced to click Dark Pulse since the Ferrothorn has Protect. Because if the Ferrothorn... If he goes for like Focus Blast or Fire Bunch, then Sabella can go into Zard on Fire Bunch or in the Ladi on Fire Bunch or Focus Blast. And it plays Mind Games. That was what, that's what I was talking about earlier. So just Dark Pulsing means there's no mind games, but Ferrothorn, as long as it doesn't get flinched or crit and gets his lead sheet off here, beats the Hooper because it gets lefties, lead sheet, protect, lefties, lead sheet back, which means it gets too much health back. So now CD was in a predicament, but I, I'm guessing he was HP fire, specs, Ladi, and he predicted the Ferrothorn. That's the only reason why you would go Ladi there, but I think just he should have just Dark Pulse at turn, on turn uh, 27 where he doubled. Because Ferrothorn... Would still take like 45 from Dark Pulse. Like it takes a lot, maybe even more. If he's not that spadef, maybe it takes even 50 ish. Yeah, 55, 50, yeah. But since he has left his protect and the lead sheet, now he can annoy the hoop. But, but switching in would have been annoying for Sabala. Damn. So Sabala actually has a shot to win this now. That does a good chunk, but there's no flinch. He gets off the lead sheet. And Sabala is going to be able to protect here. And I think, yeah, Sidima couldn't really do anything, like, he had to stay in, I think. Because if he went Landris, the Pharaoh gets more lefties, and HP Fire only does, like, 30-ish, so it doesn't do enough with Pharaoh having Leech Seed. Uh, Sidima's, I guess, gonna hope for a flinch, I don't know. Damn, they're 52, this still does a lot. But yeah, Hooper um, is gonna die now to the Leech Seed, and Pharaohthon can protect them whatever comes out to get more lefties. So Landris comes out. I mean, Savala could protect, or he could go hard Ladi. Uh, the reason why he would go hard Ladi is if if you predict the lander to go for rocks, and you don't want to go for protect on a turn that he goes for rocks. So Sidima is either going to HP fire a rock here, and Sabella is either going to protect or hard Ladi. I think he's going to protect because he wants health on this Ferrothorn for Ladi and for Coco mainly. Uh, so he's probably going to protect, and next turn, we'll see. Next turn, Ladi or something like that. But this Lando is rocks HP fire off quick U turn, I'm guessing. He off quicked. I guess off quick um, in case he tried to go Zard X on the HP fire. Now he gets the rocks, okay. So Sabella got the play correct there, protected on a turn where he didn't rock and go gets Ladi in on a turn where he rocked. I think he's just gonna side shock because he doesn't wanna let the Coco come in for free. 
So if I'm C Dumas here, I would consider going into Ladi. Because I know Scarf Ladi is pissed weak, but at the range the Lando is at a, it should die to Scarf Psyshock. And I mean Coco might be avoid the two KO since Ladi is pissed weak from Psyshock. So I guess C Dumas might, uh, might just go Coco, yeah. But he should have like he could consider going into um into Ladi. Would have been a potential play, yeah. So Coco, um is most likely it's most likely Zim of Coco because we know that the Ladi was specs, right? Um, so U turn Z wild charge is what I'm guessing. There's also the twinkle tackle, the the Kalman special Z move set, but I'm thinking Z wild charge. That because that helps him to get rid of opposing Megiana for his Ladi and for his Hooper. Yeah, yeah, I can see the concept of his team. So he just U turns. Uh, Sasha King again was a fine play by Sabella because um, the Coco was more most likely physical, so he didn't have anything to kill the Ladi. So I can understand why he just side shocked again. Uh, now, Sidiuma kind of gets a kill with Draco because the Ferrothon is already weakened, so Sabella doesn't want to go hard Ferrothon. He's going to sack either Ladi or Zard. Ladi still has more value winning late game with. Um, after Coco dies with Draco, spam Ladi wins, yeah. So he goes Ferrothon now. Sidiuma has to hope for either the death drops or Leech Seed misses? I don't know. Sabella is. If I'm Sabella, I would just Leech Seed. Um, Oh, he spiked. Okay, I, w I didn't know he had spikes. So his spikes protect Lichi Power Whip. There's an odd move set. I didn't think he had spikes, but he has spikes. That's a really cool play because I think that guarantees that a Coco dies, if I recall correctly. But now, if he misses Lichi, well, oof, that was risky. If he missed the Lichi there. So I think he's just gonna protect here. Yeah, I think Sabella is gonna protect because um, if Siduma goes, stays in, that was too risky not protecting. Yeah, exactly. But if the Buma went hard, Lando would have been cool to have the Coco as fodder. But I think now Scarf Ladi wins this game. Yeah, Sabella wins now with Scarf Ladi Draco. Um, it's confirmed that Sidumas Coco uh, Ladi is specs. So it still comes down. He has to hit two Draco Meteors. Sashak obviously wouldn't kill the Ladi. So let's see. He has to hit the first Draco on the Lando. Then he has to hit another one on the Ladi. Um, even though he's at minus two, um, Draco will still kill the Ladios from Siduma, obviously, because he's at 50%. So let's see if he can hit. He does hit. Sabella wins game one. I'm going to be right back with game two. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I got to run and get some food before game two starts. Goodbye, friends.